Dope is what flows in this fam's DNA. Dope is what flows in this fam's DNA. What's good, everybody? Welcome to Dope Interviews brought to you by the Mighty 19 Media Group. I'm your host, Warren Shaw. And in the virtual building today is Carla Simone Spence, star of the Confessions of Franny Langton, Langton, a miniseries which has received critical acclaim in the UK and is coming to the States, available now on BritBox. Carla Simone, what's good? How are you? Oh, very well, thank you. How are you? No complaints. Happy to be here with you, you know, fresh off the heels of watching your miniseries. Um, mm-hmm. I got to say, you know, it's going to come off wrong. It's an uncomfortable watch. It's really good, but it's uncomfortable because <laughs> there's so mm-hmm. much drama and drama and intrigue kind of going on without it. Um, what initially drew you to the character and wanting to even be casted for Franny? Everything, everything. I mean, Sarah put everything in the show. You know, you've got the murder mystery, you've got the the love awakening with Franny, Madame, and yeah, just her her dark history and just the journey that she goes on. The fact that she's a Jamaican woman in a period drama was just like so unheard of. And my family's Jamaican as well, so just seeing her on page on the page was like. Yeah, I was just so excited and I just couldn't believe that this story was being made. And I just was like, I have to do this. Well, I'm, I'm glad you touched on it. My parents are Jamaican as well. Um, really? Yes, yes, yes. How you say, you say, ding, ding, ding. so, um, <laughs> but one thing that is, I don't, I, hmm, I want to be comfortable, I'll be careful how I say this because our, the West Indian culture has been, <laughs> hasn't been as accepting, if you will, of yes. the LGBTQ community, so to speak, uh-huh. right? So as you alluded to being, you know, of Jamaican heritage yourself, mm-hmm. playing a Jamaican woman who is in essence, you know, gay or lesbian in this, how do you feel that role can maybe shed some light, if you will, to our community in some ways? Um, well, I think the very main reason why Sarah kind of thought would be interesting to write was that it kind of, you know, brings to light um, the LGBTQ um, movement into, you know, our culture and for us to kind of see people represented in that. Like you said, it's not really um, accepted widely um, amongst West Indians. And yeah, I thought it was really exciting to be a part of. Um, more so because like just Franny herself is just, you know, it just follows a human life. It, it doesn't really, we touch on so many different topics, but it's never really um, like a, a preachy situation. It just mm-hmm. is what it is. It's just her life. And, you know, she loves this woman. Um, she's a maid and, you know, she just goes on this incredible journey. And that's what it's about. It's a story about her. It's not about, you know, the backdrop of um, slavery that she comes from. It's just about this woman who's navigating, this Jamaican woman who's navigating 1800s London. And yeah, it was a really cool story. Yeah, I, I think that's extremely well said. Yeah, the the way it's written and, and portrayed on screen is very much about that. There are in some ways where some series, shows, movies or whatever like that can be mm-hmm. extremely preachy or you can see that there's a, a definite narrative that they're trying to address, so to speak. And I think the narrative of the story is your you <laughs> or your character, you know what I mean? Yeah. And not so much about the things that she's about or she believes in, so to speak, is how she's navigating the, the world that she's in more than anything else. And I think the story or the series does a really, really great job of that, so to speak. Um, how do you prepare for something like this, especially with so many emotionally intense scenes going on throughout the course of the series? Oh, there's like, there's so many things that you can do. Um, it all depends on the character. And with, with this character, I felt like I had this natural connection with her. Um, you know, she's a Jamaican woman. She's like navigating life, figuring out who she was. She loves reading books. And yeah, when I saw her on the page, I kind of, I already knew who she was. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I just kind of, I, I fleshed her out, uh, kind of made up random like likes and dislikes. And the novel was like a holy grail to me. You know, it has all of her history from when she grew up in Jamaica. And that was really helpful because um, sometimes you, you don't really have a rich um, background for your character. You have to kind of make up yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was just like, as an actor, there was just so much for me to sink my teeth into. Like she goes through so much, like there's, there's the rage, there's the passion, there's the love, there's the tenderness. There's the moments of like having banter and like really having like knocking heads with people. And it was just, I got, I got to do it all. And I, yeah, it was amazing. Uh, as you say, amazing. I think one of the things I found to be really amazing about it was um, her, her, as you alluded to, her wit. Um, oh, and yeah. really just how intelligent she is, uh, you know, mm-hmm. as, as, an, as an individual navigating that society, you know, and how she was trying to challenge people, you know, you know, kind of throughout, you know, where she saw whatever might have been wrong with that. You know, how do you relate to that as I guess as an individual, you know, and how do, how do your two characters maybe co- uh, parallel? 
yeah I I that's what I loved most about her I was like oh like she's really <laughs> um speaking in moments where you're like you just don't expect her to she's really advocating for herself um which feels quite modern but you know those women existed it's just not really shown um much in period dramas I mean there are quite a few but um yeah I personally I, I felt like I related to that because like my parents, they always taught me, you know, as a black woman, you've got to work twice as hard um, just to kind of get the same level as everyone else. And yeah, I've always, I've been fighting my whole life. I've been fighting as an actor. Being an actor is rough. You know, mm -hmm. you're always trying to get the next role and you're really, you just got to keep getting back up even when you're not back down. Um, so yeah, just kind of owning my space and kind of just fighting that imposter <laughs> syndrome, which I feel um, Franny didn't really have. And right. I thought that was incredible, um, <laughs> which you wouldn't expect because she's gone through so much hardship and there's people always trying to oppress her or trying to tell her how she should live her life or expect, you know, there's this bit in the in the show in episode one where she's like, she's tired of people like you deciding who she is, like who I am and what I am as soon as you take one look at me. Um, and yeah, they always make these assumptions about her and she's constantly fighting them and it doesn't get her down, which I really, really loved. Yeah, uh, it actually kind of leads me into my next question. I think, you know, there are, to me, um, I don't know how old you are, so to speak, but, you know, in my day, mm -hmm. you know, hip <laughs> <laughs> in my day, there was a thing called the source and they were like, oh, there's all these hip hop quotables. Right. And I, mm -hmm. to me, when I watched the show or the series, rather, I feel like there's uh, a, a couple of quotables. And I was wondering, is anything that was like when you read that on the page, like, oh, I can't wait to say that live, but like even what you just kind of alluded to, are any kind of any Franny's like quips, if you will, that kind of stuck with you? Yeah, like, Sarah was dropping gems in there. Like the one I said, um, yeah. the, especially the courtroom scenes. Oh, um, yeah. She has this speech where, yeah, there's like quotes for days. Like, oh, um, I, I think, yeah, she's, she's always coming up with some kind of quip. Like, yeah, she's, I could end up quoting every episode, <laughs> to be honest. Um, like the one that I like is that um, she's saying that no one ever expects any kind of story from a woman like her. Um, and that, you know, people, even the audience um, in the show and in the audience, people are gonna have their kind of assumptions about what the show is gonna be about and who Franny is gonna be. And, you know, she even says that, um, no doubt you're thinking this will be just another one of those slave histories or sugared over with misery and despair. It won't be. It's a story about her, and that's not what the story's about. It just happens to be in the background, because um, Sarah tried to keep the cultural context of history within it and without kind of um, ignoring that. And yeah, she, she's a quotable girl. <laughs> no, I, I agree one thousand percent. You know, and there and there were times again. Was, I think we've talked touched on it here a couple times already, but even as the viewer, I'm watching. I'm like, yo, does she know where she's at? <laughs> <laughs> Like, yo, yeah. what's happening right now? She's wild. Yeah. yeah. But, it, but it makes it makes for the great story. But I think again, as you alluded to, that that overall narration, even that's coming in over the 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 viewer standpoint of just kind of watching the acting take place, that narration really kind of leads you to where it's kind of going. And I'm still surprised. Well, she told me, but I'm still like, damn, she just she don't give a damn. She out here saying whatever she wants to. And I think that's uh, that was amazing. She's got nothing to lose. A thousand percent. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. yeah. Um what was it like working with the rest of the cast on the series? Um, again, a lot of great, great actors and actresses throughout the course mm -hmm. of the series. And um, and they all had very poignant and very unique relationships with your character as the series progressed. Yeah, no, everyone was, I'm, I'm really grateful and, and quite lucky that everyone was really lovely and mm -hmm. really easy to work with. Um, even the characters where um, Franny is like butting heads with, we got on like a house on fire, you know, I really enjoyed doing those scenes because it just felt really electric. Um, yeah, everyone was great. Um, Sophie was incredible. Just, you know, creating the um, tender love story with her with Madame was just really lovely. It was nice to, after doing all those heavy scenes to go away and like have, like just have Franny to be happy and loved. <laughs> um, Cause you know, she does go through quite a lot of hardship. Um, even working with Patrick Martins, he's incredible. Like I hadn't known him before what I'm working on the show and like we're really good friends now. Like our, our characters, like our characters had so much chemistry that mm -hmm. Sarah wrote a new scene for us um, in the show, which is one of my favorite scenes. Um, but yeah, everyone was, everyone was great. 
Well, I, I got to expand on that. So what, you know, what, what was that scene, if, if you will? Because again, it is a lot of times when these shows or any show is being made, the mm -hmm. actors and actresses have the ability sometimes to, to improv, so to speak. Yeah. Or they, again, some things like, you know what, maybe we'll go away from the script a little bit because they see the onset chemistry is so poignant. So what was that light moment like for you and trying to do something that wasn't necessarily in the book? Well, I, I loved it because it, it, it made, started to feel more like my own. Because, you know, when mm -hmm. you have um, a book that's already loved, um, people expect certain things to remain the same. But when there's like new, fresh material, then it starts to become more your, like your own. I mean, I feel like I have full ownership of Franny anyway. I, I feel like I'm her and she's me. I was waiting all my life for her. Um, but yeah, we did the table read. Me and Patrick, we did a, um, one of our scenes together. And you just never know until the table read how things are going to sound, how things are going to land. And it's our characters just were really working well together. And Sarah wrote this really beautiful, tender scene um, without spoiling anything. But yeah, it was, I, I felt quite, it was quite um, a massive compliment, really. Yeah, real talk, real talk. Was this your first period piece? And then how do you feel about doing period pieces moving yeah. forward? It's my first period piece. I honestly, I never, it was never on my radar to do a period drama. I, I never thought that I would be in a period drama. I never saw myself in period dramas. I never thought that was a goal. I, I thought, oh, I, I never imagined a character like Franny would have been written in a period drama leading a show that I would want to be a part of, you know? Because usually in period dramas, like our characters are quite written, I don't know, like in the background and not really fully fleshed out and kind of doing menial work, although that's what Franny does, but you know, there's more to it. Um, but yeah, no, I, it was incredible. When I saw the script come in, I, I just couldn't believe it. Yeah. What were the challenges that came along with maybe even it being a period piece or if not that, just kind of some challenges in general that you had? Because again, it seems like you said the role was written for you, but it couldn't have been all <laughs> just such a, such a smooth sailing. Like, you know, what did you have to kind of deal with in essence to come um, along to it? <laughs> Do you know what? It, it I can't explain it. I I had the character for quite a few um, few months before we were filming, so I I, I felt like I knew her so much mm. that like whatever was thrown at me, I was I was ready for it. Genuinely, like I'm I'm quite surprised. Like I I I will advocate for this character so much because she means so much to me. Like I hold her so close to my heart. Um, yeah. Like I don't think there was many challenges. I I think every time there was something where maybe the night before when I was like, oh, this is a big scene. I've got to really give it some. I'd just give it some and then enjoy it. Um, you know, the doing the, the really, um, the the really sad moments where she goes through her kind of heartbreak and all that stuff, it doesn't feel nice, but at the same time it does because I, I like to cry. It feels quite mm -hmm. cathartic. I, I like the process of really finding that really um, truthful, raw emotion for my characters. Cause I feel like that's what they deserve. They deserve to, for the audience to be able to see that side of them and to be able to look in and empathize with them, even though they may behave in a way that annoys them and they don't quite understand. At least there'll be moments where they're like, oh, Franny, you know? Yeah, uh, I think it says a lot about you, you know, as an actress um, who who wants to be challenged in that way. I think, you know, mm -hmm. it, it can be very easy. Like, hey, my job was easy. I came in here, I read these lines and I went home, you know, <laughs> got my check, right? Yeah. Um, but the fact when you're an actor or an actress have to tap in to all of those emotions. And like you just alluded to, there's love, there's sorrow. I mean, there's true mm. despair, there's hatred that's going on. There's a lot of raw emotions in that. And then to tap yeah. into that, you know, you did an amazing, amazing job in the series. And I want to congratulate you on that. What, if anything, and I know it's a really general and standard question, but mm. I'm sure you're prepared to answer it because you are a professional. <laughs> I <laughs> what, <have heard. laughs> what do you want the audience in essence to kind of take away and learn about this? If you didn't read the book and you just, you're just seeing the series, like, hey, mm -hmm. what, what are some of the main common goals and themes that you want people to remember? Me, I'm always going to answer on the the, the side of the, the character. Um, I just want them to invest in her story and, and take that journey with her. And um, whatever they take from that, whether that is like, what is wrong with this woman? Or whether they really root for her or, you know, just to enjoy that human experience of Franny Langton and to just enjoy the story that um, Sarah's created. That's what I want, yeah for them to take something from it, to feel moved. <laughs> <laughs> well, you definitely moved me. Um, like I said, uncomfortable as hell. <laughs> but I got through it. I watched and I was like, man, you know, it was really, really gripping. Anything next for you? What's up for, you know, what's up coming up for Carlos Simone here in the future? Big things, I hope. Big things. 
Big things for sure, for sure. That is all the time we have for today. She Thank is you. Carla Simone Spence. Uh, she plays the role of Frenny Langton in The Confessions of Frenny Langton, available on BritBox and your streaming services available today. Make sure you follow her on, on Instagram at Carla Simone Spence. Again, I'm Warren Shaw. You can follow me on IG at Shaw Sports or Shaw Sports NBA on Twitter and at Dope underscore interviews. You know what it is. Carla Simone, thank you so much. This has been another Dope Interview. And we're out. Thank you. Together we stand. Divided we never. The vision is one. Striving for the better. Working as a team, working toward a dream. It's not even work when the team is the dream. On a united front, we got our own back. A band of brothers to counteract any attack. One heart and fact, forget what the blood say. Dope is what flows in this fam's DNA. So let's do it for the love, give to the max. Listen to opinion, but react to facts. And remember that together with a shh, but separate, just pieces of it. Shoot, no. Dope is what flows in this fam's DNA. Dope is what flows in this fam's DNA. Family represent like a tree with names on it. We're free, no chains on it. Relieve the pain's gone. I can see. We come together like questions on the quiz. Mojo flow and viz, man, you know what it is. And if ignorance is bliss, you're gonna hate this lesson. Organized intellect like a tropical depression. My symbol is the cross, a mic and ghost peppers. Cause I'm just a black sheep growing up to be a shepherd. Moonlighting as a weapon to protect the children. Every brother is a father. Dynasties we're building. Max, J and K, Bay Bay and Isaiah. Next level of the family foundation. Understand me?